Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to check out another video with us. Um, today what we're doing is we are in search of the Lady Slipper. So we are right in the middle of Minnesota, central Minnesota. Um, we are around the um, Brainerd Lakes area, if you know where that is, right in the center of the state. Um, and essentially what we do is we drive around, we try and find the most secluded places we can possibly find, and we stop and check out things along the way. So if that's the kind of thing that interests you guys, hit subscribe bottom left uh, so you can check out these videos. So yeah, so today we're looking for the Lady Slipper. Um, where we're headed here is an, is an area that Angel's been to several times over the years. When our kids were younger, we used to take them to uh, this area as well, and they just, they, they kind of spread. They get more and more and more. Um, and we've never seen human sign back in here, so as far as, as we know, we're the only ones that have been back here. Um, and the primary area that we uh, find these lady slippers, at least here, is in the Tamarack Swamp. Tamarack, tree, swamp, boggy areas. That's, that's where we find these. Um, so check out the Tamaracks, look them up, Google them. Um, they're a pine tree, they're the, the, the kind of pine tree that loses their needles. One of the only pine trees that loses their needles every season. Um, I think their needles are even considered a leaf because they do lose the needles and in the spring um, they grow them back. So it, it's a different type of pine. I believe it's one of the hardest of um, the pine trees. So we, we at our last um, residence, for example, we our wood floor was made out of Tamarack uh, wood flooring. So it was really cool. Um, so yeah, so check out tamarack swamps around you. We've also seen them up on the North Shore in, in rocky areas, wet, kind of misty, waterfally, like the Cascade State Park. We found some there too, but not nearly like, like what we're going to see here in a bit. There's typically 50 to 100 um, lady slippers out in, in this particular uh, tamarack forest. So check it out. <laughs> into the nasty brush. Yeah, <sighs> yeah I was gonna half, was gonna bring my rubber boots and I didn't. Just watch the treetops and walk towards the, yeah. Yep, it is mushy. We're in a top of the bog. No, right, the temperature is just right. What is it, about 70? Yeah. Hey, my feet are getting wet. These shoes are supposed to be waterproof. I don't know, it felt like dampness for a second there. That big stump has to be to the right over there. Yep. Boy, I haven't been back here for quite a while. Yeah, it's just getting there and then getting out. Oh, there's the stump right to the left. Yeah. There's a big uprooted tree. Boy, is it wet. It is wet. All right, so now we're in the zone. Is this the zone? Because I've never found one back here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Right, it can be hit or miss within a couple week window. Shush. Well, Angel found one. She's found the first one. Oh, look at that. There's more out there. I'm sure. 
All right, guys, there's the first lady slipper that we found of the year. It looks like it's in perfect bloom. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's just a little windy out here. Okay, right. well, we can find more if we keep going. Yeah, so this is like finding morel mushrooms. Maybe if you find one group, we'll find a bunch more. All right, let's go. You do? The angels used to come out here once a year with our kids growing up. Oh, look at them all. I don't know if you can see them yet. Oh, they're all around us. They love them, the camera. So, oh, you almost stepped on one. There's one right here. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh, look at all these. Look at. I know. I know. Fun. Watch where we got to watch where we step here. Oh, they love this kind of coral. They do. Over there to your right. Okay. Back there. They're just everywhere oh, back there. Everywhere. And they're in perfect. Oh, room. just as far as we can see here. Yeah. They're beautiful. There's just pockets of them everywhere. They're all around us. Yep. Now this is the perfect time to be out here too. Yeah. I want some pictures, but I'll have to take them now. I'll have to take them now. Let's see how many we can find. So, we even want to keep count? There's so many, I don't know if we can. No, but. At least, we're at least seeing 20 or 30 within eyesight. Yeah. yeah. So That's soft. It's like a pillow. It is. That is so Step on it and give it the, the, whole the water bed. Takes, yeah. So we are, we ended up, we are in Tamaracks. We're in a Tamarack swamp right now. That's all the trees that are around us. What is it, June 10th, I think. What's the date? Oh yeah, there's white ones. It's June 10th. Here, stand, sit by that one, squat down, so we can get it in perspective. I have never found a white one. I've found the yellow ones, I've seen the white and pink ones, but never a white one like that. Do you remember seeing it this many when you've come out here in the past? Yeah, but they were all, like I said, just the pink ones. But you see it saw them in this quantity? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to get out here so brushy and buggy. Yeah, and it's not that buggy. Well, although we did, we did douse down with bug spray. So we do got to be careful while we're in here too, because there is poison ivy mixed in with the, the swampage here with the lady slippers. Yeah, there's a couple right here. Wow, and I can just see the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> just bugs what a treat though to come out here. Yeah. Because nobody else, I don't think anybody else comes out here to see the Working. No, this is our secret. It's a secret spot. So there's some actually uh, pretty interesting things to note about lady slippers. Um, they are actually the Minnesota State Flower, um, the pink and white lady slippers, the Minnesota State Flower. Um, and there's actually about 50, uh, 50 different species throughout America. Um, and the, the interesting thing too about lady slippers um, in general, it, it is actually illegal to pick lady slippers or move them or transplant them um, because it does actually take about 16 years for them to produce their first flower. Um, they can live to be up to 50 years old and they can actually get up to be about four feet tall. Um, so we are out here on June 10th. Um, from what I did, the research I did, it does say their peak um, growth time is actually June, um, late June to early July. Um, so on average though, the, the ones we're seeing here are probably 12 to 24 inches tall, I suppose, um, somewhere in there. So um, at least I hope that gives you some general information on what to look for. Again, leave these alone. Don't transplant them. Um, they're not pickable. It does take 16 years to get that first flower going.